Have you ever noticed your CPU usage creeping up in Task Manager even when you're doing nothing? Or maybe your frame times are inconsistent in games, like sudden micro stutter spikes that don't make sense even when your GPU isn't maxed out. One of the hidden causes is Windows ETW logging, event tracing for Windows. It's a powerful diagnostic system, but by default, it constantly records background events you don't need. And worst of all, it's always running, silently stealing CPU cycles while you game. Today, I'm going to show you how to disable unnecessary ETW logging sessions, tweak registry and command line settings, and reclaim those lost CPU cycles. By the end of this video, you'll have a cleaner, faster Windows that runs games with less stutter, less latency, and more consistent performance. Let's get started. Step 1. Identify active ETW sessions. Before we start shutting down unnecessary logs, we need to see exactly what's running in the background. Windows constantly spawns ETW, event tracing for Windows, sessions that record diagnostic data, networking events, and audio streams. These were designed for developers in debugging, but in practice, they just choose CPU cycles and create hidden .etl files. How to check. Press Win plus X, choose Windows Terminal Admin or CMD Admin, Type logman query ETS. Hit enter. This will dump a full list of active event trace sessions currently logging on your PC. What you'll see. You'll notice entries such as Diag Log, General Diagnostics and Crash Logging, WDI Context Log, Windows Diagnostic Infrastructure Logging, Background Performance Traces, LWT Net Log, network tracing session that wakes the CPU constantly, Wi-Fi session, wireless activity logs even when you don't need them, AUSRV.ETL, audio service tracing, can create extra latency on audio threads. Some machines may also show extra OEM or vendor sessions, Dell, HP, Asus telemetry, etc. Why this matters. Every single ETW session acts like a background logger. Even if you never open Event Viewer or debug anything, these traces keep writing tiny packets of data in the background, often at high frequency. That means CPU wakeups, which hurts latency-sensitive apps like games, disk writes, which creates small .etl files, interrupt activity, which competes with your GPU, audio, or NIC drivers, in short, invisible overhead. Step 2. Disable persistent ETW autologgers via registry. Some ETW sessions are automatically created at boot by the Windows autologger system. These run silently in the background and log diagnostic or telemetry data. While useful for troubleshooting or enterprise environments, they are mostly unnecessary for gaming PCs and can quietly add CPU overhead and micro latency. How to access auto loggers? Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and press Enter. Navigate to Inside, you'll see multiple folders. Each one corresponds to a persistent logging session that starts automatically with Windows. How to disable an auto logger? Click a session key, locate the start D word, change its value to zero. This disables the auto logger from starting at boot. Pro tip, start small. Disable obvious telemetry sessions first, like Diag Track, LWT Netlog, or Wi-Fi session, and leave core kernel or audio logging untouched to avoid breaking system diagnostics or crash dumps. Disabling non-critical auto loggers like Diag Track, LWT Netlog, or Wi-Fi session is usually fine for a gaming machine. Do not touch anything with kernel, audio, or security unless you know what you're doing. Step 3. Kill active ETW sessions with CMD. Even after disabling auto loggers in the registry, existing ETW sessions may still be running in memory. If left active, they continue logging data, writing .etl files, and waking the CPU periodically, which can cause micro stutters or subtle input lag. Let's stop them immediately. 
open command prompt as administrator. Press Win plus X, then select Windows Terminal or Command Prompt. Accept the UAC prompt to give admin rights. Stop each running ETW session. Use the logman command to terminate each active session. For example, replace session name with the exact name of the session you want to stop. The dash ETS flag tells Windows to target the event trace session in memory, not just the registry definition. Note, do not stop critical kernel logging sessions unless you know what they are. This can affect system stability or debugging. Verify sessions are stopped. After stopping the sessions, run this. This will list all currently active ETW sessions. Make sure the ones you disabled no longer appear in the list. Step 4. Disable Windows Telemetry and Tracing Services. Even after killing ETW sessions, Windows may recreate them automatically through built-in telemetry and diagnostic services. Disabling these services stops ETW from respawning in the background, freeing CPU cycles and reducing disk activity. Open Services. Press Win plus R. Type services.msc. Hit Enter. Scroll through the list to find the relevant services. Disable each telemetry and diagnostic service. Set the startup type to disabled for the following services. Connected user experiences and telemetry, Diag Track, sends usage data and diagnostic logs to Microsoft. Diagnostic Policy Service, DPS, handles problem detection and reporting for Windows components. Windows Error Reporting Service, WERSVC, logs and reports crashes to Microsoft. Retail Demo Service, if present, used in retail demo PCs, unnecessary for gaming. To disable manually, right-click the service, Properties. Under Startup Type, select Disabled. Click Stop if the service is currently running. Apply changes and exit. Optional, CMD method for power users. Open Command Prompt as Administrator and run this. This achieves the same effect as the GUI method, but is faster for multiple machines or scripted setups. Be aware. Disabling these services may prevent some Windows error reporting and diagnostic tools from working. Only do this if you're okay trading telemetry for slightly better system responsiveness in gaming. Verify. Reboot your PC, open services again, and confirm the services remain disabled. Optional. Run logman query ETS to see that related ETW sessions are no longer automatically appearing. Pro tip. Pairing this with previous ETW session cleanup ensures Windows stops constantly logging or writing telemetry data, which reduces CPU spikes, micro stutters, and unnecessary disk activity during gaming. Step 5. Optimize logging for audio and gaming latency. Some ETW sessions are tied to audio drivers, GPU, or input stack. You don't want to kill all of them, but you can optimize them. Open Regedit again. Navigate here. Set the following D words. System responsiveness to zero. Default is 20. By setting it to zero, you dedicate CPU time to foreground apps. Network throttling index to F, which disables hidden throttling tied to ETW traces. Next, under GPU priority to eight, Priority to 6. Scheduling category to high. These tweaks make sure any ETW activity that is necessary gets the lowest priority, while your games get the highest. And that's it! You've just stopped hidden ETW logging from stealing your CPU power. We started by identifying active sessions, then shut down unnecessary auto loggers, killed current sessions, disabled telemetry services, and fine-tuned system profile settings for gaming priority. The end result? Lower CPU usage, reduced DPC latency, more consistent frame times, and a smoother, more responsive gaming experience overall. Remember, Windows loves to run diagnostics in the background, but on a gaming PC, those logs aren't helping you, they're hurting you. If this video helped, drop a comment with your results, smash the like button, and subscribe for more deep dive performance guides. See you in the next one.
where we go after another hidden Windows bottleneck. 